Go. Um, no, you don't pay my rent, so I will be. If you try to push, it. don't. Don't shut me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Teens with a sense of entitlement think they're untouchable until one encounter with a no-nonsense cop changes everything. I can't. I can't. Out of this, my mom and dad. Put that back you now! Are, you lock your hand in the seat! Put that back! I have my black of You are! Put that back! Let me go! Oh, oh, I shut the door in your face! Stop! Ah! Stop! Stop. <laughs> Prepare for a jaw-dropping turn of events as the rules of the game shift unexpectedly. Um, no, you don't pay my rent, so I will be- If you try to push, don't- On March 8, 2024, when police responded to a call about two women causing a ruckus outside their New Jersey apartment, what they encountered was a cocktail of arrogance, poor judgment, and outright defiance. And all this while supposedly cleaning and making TikTok videos. Right off the bat, we see the classic denial of responsibility, a hallmark of such confrontations. How you doing, ladies? What, what's actually going on? I got a woman running around the back of building 200. There's two, I think there's two girls there, and they're screaming, she was screaming, get out of my house, get out of my house. Right. Hey, miss, did you happen to call us? There's somebody running around out here? I hear him in here. Room, or correction, apartment 210. Police department, open the door. It's the police department. The suspect greets the officers with a tone that could rival a customer service nightmare, dripping with entitlement. But the real twist comes when she tries to close the door mid-conversation, a decision that only escalates the situation in the blink of an eye. You don't have Hello. the right to open or search my door, so I'm not going to be opening my okay. door. Okay, what's going on here today? Okay, I'm moving out my stuff and I'm cleaning out my stuff okay. with my sister's Are you guys fighting with the sister again or having an argument or something? No. I'm Ooh. sure I was upstairs, right? No. That so it was okay no. wherever it was. Well, okay. they're just haters and they've been stalking me probably. Who else is here? My sister. She's staying yeah. here. She, I live okay. here. I have the lease. Yeah, okay. Me and her are cleaning. We were arguing. We were making a TikTok. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are familiar with TikTok. Yeah. What's your first name again? Can I talk to you? We're in our bras, respectfully, Hello. but you know. How you doing, miss? Do you mind just stepping out here and talking to uh, Officer Prager? Can I go sit here? I'm going to shut my door now. No, because... we're going to leave it open for the time being, okay? Um, no, you don't pay my rent, so I will be... If you try to door. push, don't... Don't shut me! Don't, don't touch me! Now you're under arrest! Now you're under arrest! Now you're under arrest! Stop! Stop! I'm not trying to stop! Stand over here! No, I'm not trying to stop! Stand over here! No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Take the breath, come over here! Don't touch me! Put your hand on your back. Put your hand on your back. Stop, Put your hand on your back. Stop fighting with me. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. I shut the door in your face. I shut the door in your face. Stop. Stop. No, don't touch me. Stop fighting. Stop resisting. No, you're hurting me. Stop resisting. Give me your other hand. Give me your other hand. Give me your other hand. Apparently, getting cuffed wasn't enough of a sign to stop. She made a break for it, proving that handcuffs are no match for raw adrenaline and bad decision making. Got a female running towards the main entry. She's handcuffed, white shirt, purple pants. Stop. No, you're on recording. I will record you. No. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, you're stop. hurting me. No, stop touching me. Can I put my hand like, on the floor? Purple. Right here, there, right here. Okay. 10, 4, 5, 8, on the way. <laughs> so, that's so bad. You did. You did. I'm so mad. I, I, I know it's seven, zero. <laughs> All you had to do was talk to us. I can't even get mad because I'm like, this is why I got arrested the first time. 10, 4, you need anybody else out there? No. Why are you such Why are you touching me? Slow it down. I got two females kind of. Yes, yeah, send the township, please. No, don't touch me. Do not kick me again. No, I'm not trying to kick 
kick you. You are trying to kick me. Stop it. To stop touching me. You don't know what I've gone through. Stop <laughs> fighting. Oh, no, you don't. Stop fighting with me. Predictably, she didn't get far. In legal terms, attempting to flee post-arrest can stack on additional charges and make a plea deal much harder to come by. Instead of fleeing, perhaps she should have considered an apology. It's cheaper and far less embarrassing. I'm good. Did you get her? No. <laughs> yeah, I got her here by the main office. I don't want, I don't want, you want me to secure her in a car and help you? No, I we're don't. We're fine over here now. Let's go over here. No, we're not going anywhere. Um, yo, I'm cooperating with you. There's no, you're not. Stop touching stuff. I'm not touching sh bitch. I'm not the f I'm talking about. Bitch. I'm not. You're hurting me. You're Don't stupid. Don't you're dumb. You're stupid. Maybe you should stop drinking. Don't push on me. Don't push on me. You're Yeah, she's, she's trying to kick me, so. No, she just. I'm not trying right to kick you. Yeah. If you want, just you can wait with her. I'll wait till Tasha gets her escort her over. You. Okay. They're drunk. I'm not yeah. drunk. You're, you're trying to manipulate me. Uh, into a situation. You're the uh, spitmaster. No, I'm not drunk. Uh, you're trying to manipulate me into a situation. Take a breath. I just want to shut the door. Okay. I told you you I can't, can't do shut that. The door. You cannot hit a police <laughs> officer, miss. I didn't sh I didn't hit you. I shut you the door miss. in your face. And you spit at me, so stop. My because you shut the door, and I know my rights. Relax, stop I yelling. Know, I know my rights. So you're getting sued. <laughs> now I'm spitting on you. Because you're, you're over here detaining me, right? Because all I did was shut the door in your face. So therefore, you're, you're going to get sued. No, you yeah, don't have any warrant to restrain me, Get off of me! <laughs> ah, the classic you're violating my rights argument, usually shouted by someone who has absolutely no idea what those rights actually are. Here's the thing. Resisting a lawful arrest and yelling at officers doesn't exactly scream constitutional hero. And yes, a spit mask might look dramatic, but when you're spitting venom, literally, it's safety first, not fashion. Get off of me! Get off of me! I'm a strike! Get off of me! Where's your chief? Please, I have to pick up my son. And you're over here. Do you have a spit mask? A what? Get spit off mask? Of me. No. You're triggering me. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Because I can't f me. Uh, just get a spit mask. Stop touching me! Don't don't put me there. No, I'm not a dog. Upper pocket. No, please, why are you just... Just slide this over, and then we're going to take this other mask off of it. Okay? Relax your feet, and we're going to sit you up, okay? Can we... Just roll on our side. Can we take the, uh... Can we take that off? Relax. Relax, okay? There you go. Just put it, like, towards the back, just instead of right. All right, let's sit her up. Come here. You have another one under? Yeah, she's in, like, Coleman's... Coleman's there. Just walk over with Sean to her car. We have her sister. Your nose out through your mouth, okay? And through your nose, out through your mouth. Oh, so Ridley's gonna search you, okay? Do you have anything on you? You got it. Come on, we're gonna go towards the car. No, I was. I don't know who else is in the house. I'm just gonna go check real quick. And no, sure I will put a restraining order on. During their search, officers found open alcohol containers and signs of a recent altercation, further evidence of reckless behavior. While this didn't add extra charges, it confirmed the obvious this wasn't just a quiet night in. Reminder. Creating a public disturbance while drinking is a surefire way to lose both your dignity and your deposit. The handcuffs are probably cranked because she was wailing on me, yes. so. And kicking the door. Okay. Um, you need an ambulance? You wanna get that looked at? No, it's not right now. You wanna yeah. set, stand up for a second? Do you, do you keep anything in your bra, like money or anything? Yes, but not at the moment. Okay. You go check though. That was probably the best I've ever driven to a car. Cool. I hit the curb. Really? I knocked the alignment out of the car. Come on. Where? Horse Hill? No, on the jug oh, handle or close to. Yeah, I'm off. You got her up? Yep. <laughs> By the end, one woman faced charges of resisting arrest and assault on an officer. While her sister was charged with obstructing justice, both serious offenses under New Jersey law. Resisting arrest carries a penalty of up to five years in prison for aggravated cases, while assaulting an officer can result in three to five years. Obstructing justice? Another 18 months, potentially. 
these women certainly weren't TikTok on their way out of this one. This wasn't just a bad day. It was an absolute masterclass in how to turn a minor disturbance into a full-blown legal disaster. From TikTok excuses to amateur parkour and handcuffs, every move these women made was the wrong one. So, what's your take? Was this sheer arrogance or just a comedy of errors? Drop your thoughts in the comments and remember. When the law knocks, maybe don't slam the door unless you want to go viral for all the wrong reasons. As seen in the previous story, where the law intervened in a chaotic situation involving two reckless women, here's another example of the turmoil and family conflicts. Now she's making up a bunch of shit. Are you quiet? I'm outside, what's up? Is we finna link up finna beat his ass and I finna beat your ass too. The tension was thick as officers arrived at the scene of a man allegedly trying to throw his ex out of a moving car. She says she was attacked. He says she started it. Sound familiar? Welcome to the classic he said, she said, the perfect storm for a domestic dispute. But hold on, this is where the law steps in, and things are about to get interesting. Alright, we're stopping for the hotel. Charles William, 30305. Come here. Oh, I, I need to press charges Wait now. over there. Wait over there for a minute. I'm my three door. months pregnant. Okay, wait over there for a minute. And I, you, you was a liar. You need you an ambulance. Hey, I'm alive. You need an ambulance. No, I don't know. I she hopped in my car. Okay. Can you sit? You see me? Can you sit? And I'm you see him. Just speak. Go over there and sit down. Can I talk to you? That's all you can. Okay, go over there. Let me talk to you. Please, Go over there. Right, you can't. You can't. I will talk to you. I'm just here to carry this in. No, you get it first. That's fine. Can you sit? Yes. Yes. He made threats. I got threats. What's your first name? Oh, all right here. In Georgia, where this situation unfolded, accusations of domestic violence can lead to significant charges, ranging from simple battery to aggravated assault, each carrying heavy penalties. For a first offense of domestic violence, the individual can face one of five years in prison and fines up to $1,000. So, it's no surprise the officers were careful to verify the facts before jumping to conclusions. That's right. Is this your girl? No, it's my, it's my baby mother. Can I came out of the drop. Yeah. Can you wait over there on the sidewalk, please? I don't want please? any blood in my Exactly. Head. She hopped in my f***ing room. It wouldn't get out of my shit. Come tell them, motherfucker. You can't. Oh, hey. She's telling the truth. Go over there. Yeah. No, yeah. It's because you came yeah. to my mother f***ing house. Yeah. Go over here. I want to yeah. press charge. Yeah. I can't believe she just f***ing did that. The police began their conversation with the man to hear his side of the story. What could have sparked this heated dispute? Stay tuned to uncover the twists and turns in his version of events. Look at my idea here. Right. Is your child's mother? Is yes. she pregnant with your kid? Or you Hell no. Kids? She laying and saying she's pregnant, sir. So what happened today? I dropped the kids off, so I stayed to talk to her because her boyfriend be talking shit. Okay, let's go over here. So, so get I get your door taken off. I'm like, you stay, I called her first. We just talking. I was out here earlier from dropping my kids off at school this morning. Okay. So I'm standing out here doing shopping, just watching my car. When I pull past, she talking shit. I'm trying to just talk it out. I'm like, do I want to talk to your boyfriend? She hops in my car. Is this over at Yeah, she hops in the okay. car. The lady, the operator, it's recorded. Okay. <laughs> She's like, are you still in the car? So then I stopped, boom. I tried to even grab a shirt. And she's fucking strong, man. Okay, so she hops in the car and won't get out, and you're trying to push her out? I didn't, okay, no, nah, not while I was driving. But before I pulled off, yeah. when I saw she wouldn't get out, I said, you know what, we're going to go for a ride. The operator like, wait a minute, you in his car? I'm like, exactly, man. Now she's making up a bunch of shit. Uh, are you quiet. Where do you stay at normally, dude? I stay on 8015, this right here. Okay. She jumped out. I thought I was gonna sit down nobody at. She just did this crazy shit. Okay. That's why I like when I saw I start getting wild, I'm gonna just get the get in the car, get the f on. She hops in the f car. I, I thought I had it locked. What happened with her boyfriend? Her boyfriend had a shovel or? No. Her f***ing friend. Tall, dark skin. So come do something. What happened over there at the place? Shit! As I came out of talk, once I saw them you pushing drop, me up I on mean, the side. Off your kids and then... When I come, we was talking on the phone. Yeah. Then she talked to shit. I pull up, I say, since he got some shit to talk, I yeah. came for him. Yeah, I say, he can come out and talk to me. She come up, chest bump me. Though? No. She chest bumped me all the way to the street, to my car, officer. So that's what I say. I say, you know what? You right, boom. Then call the police and do this. So I say, I'm going for a ride then. She thought she was going to call y'all and wait and think she was going to sit in the car and then make up all the shit she's making up. Anything you guys Hell yeah, she was just crap holding my neck and punching me. I ain't touching that one time. What, you driving? Or? Yes. Were you guys gonna pull in the Elks Club down there? The, 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 the operator was saying that. Like, why don't you pull over? I'm gonna come over. I want this. We'll just my car too. Hell yeah. So then when I shot out, I'm like, no. Hell yeah, I'm glad. I'm really gonna pull over and 
It's like, hell yeah. Despite the presence of law enforcement, the arguments raged on, as if the flashing lights and badges were just part of the backdrop. Clearly, this relationship has more cracks than a shattered mirror, and no one's reaching for the glue. I don't know, since you hopped here with the oh, You see, you see, right? Oh, Why you ain't do that before they came? Why you do that before they came? You should have came out. You tried to just tell them lies on that phone too. You just tried to lie on that phone too. You stop yelling at me, get this all worked out. You know Is where it I'm... in the seat right there? No, I don't see it. Is it this one? Is that the Hey, hey, Jed! I'm on. gonna press charges hold on, on you, I believe! Hold on, hold on. I believe! Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. I heard it. Are you okay? I'm gonna press charges on that in a minute. I don't know. In a minute. After, okay, this is my baby mama. I yeah. dropped the kids off at school this morning. She yeah. talking shit. This is all about her boyfriend, boom. So I said, okay, he come out here and talk to me. Whole time, she's talking shit off shit. So I say, boom, her friend comes chest bumping me off the sidewalk. This is what I do. This, is, this shit happened on Ridge. Okay. She hopped in my car with me. They called y'all. She, 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 okay. she stole the phone with 911 right now. And now, we're into the woman's version of events. Tell me what happened. Hey, let me call you back. That's probably a bad idea. Huh? Maybe to pick you up, but I don't want your sister right. getting in the room. She's going to tell y'all what he did. Okay. I just mm -hmm. came back from Atlanta. Okay. He dropped our kids off at 845 at, at school. Okay. He been texting my phone, calling my phone. What's up? I seen his car. I swear to God. As I was parking my truck in the back of my house, I seen his car and I told my sister. He called my phone 20 minutes later. I'm outside. What's up? Is we finna wake up finna beat his ass and I finna beat your ass too. This was over the phone and a text message of him saying what he was gonna do to okay. my, my boyfriend. When I opened the door, he walked on my porch and he pushed me. And I pushed his ass back. Don't touch me. Oh, you, you can't fight no pregnant because I told him anything you do to me, I'm gonna do to you. Okay. Perry. What, what else happened? Huh? What else happened? He took me on a high speed chase. How did you get I got in his car to talk to him. He closed the door and he took off when I was on the phone with you all. Going 80 miles per hour. Then he proceeded to try to throw me out. That's how my shirt like, got like this. Okay. Said I'm finna pull over and I'm finna beat the f out of you. Okay. Do you have any injuries or anything? Oh no, my, my arms and shit hurt from wrestling. Tried for him not to throw me out that car. Okay. She saw everything too. Okay. You got her info? No, not yet. The woman's side of the story was compelling being pushed, driven recklessly, and threatened with violence. Yet, her version wasn't without gaps. The man's version involved her entering his car uninvited and allegedly fabricating the events with additional provocation from her boyfriend and friend. Who's telling the truth here? The truth, as always, is likely somewhere in the middle, but the law demands clear evidence. Hey, is okay? She's all right, are you a sister? Uh uh, I'm her Nate. Uh, what happened over there? I don't know, but I know he just tried to kidnap her. I, I don't know. Oh, okay. so? Okay. I didn't fight. I did not talk to him. You okay? Come on. You got your ID with him? I don't have nothing. Okay. Didn't he run up on my shit? Yeah. Didn't he run up and push yeah, me, bro? Well, that's why I asked you. You said you yeah, didn't I'm, see anything. I said, yeah, and I said he tried to kill. It was like he tried to kidnap her. Yeah, but you said you didn't see anything. Right, but nothing about pushing. That's what I'm getting at. My gun is yeah. at home and I yeah. concealed a carry. What about you? What about that shit? I just jumping in my car like that, though. Yeah, we're dealing with that. That's why they're over talking to her. I'm for the. Why are you going to jail? That's, you, go, go talk to one of them and see what she's saying right now. She's swearing up and down I'm going to jail. She thought I worked for the pull-up. I said, they coming for your ass. Look. Go put that away. Go put that away now. What's wrong with that stick? I'm going to knock your big fat ass out. Shut up, you bitch. Hey, put that back you now. Are, you look like you ain't in the put seat. That back. I have my block of you up. Put that back. Let me go. What the hell are you doing? Wait, wait, Just wait, wait over here. You. Wait over here. Wait you. over here. Wait over here. I will f*** you up. Their bold attempt to play vigilante earned them an arrest for obstruction, proving once again that sometimes, the best way to de-escalate is to not escalate at all. 
In Georgia, obstructing justice by resisting law enforcement can lead to a misdemeanor charge, punishable by up to 12 months in jail or a fine of $1,000. This goes to show how quickly a situation can spiral when tempers flare and people decide to take matters into their own hands. Can you help me bring out? Your yeah, arm back. Bring this arm back. Okay, you gotta bring this other arm back. Give me two sets, if you want. It hurts. Y'all really my arm up. It can't go back. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Let us get these on you before you stand up. Okay. We're gonna okay. stand you up. Watch your feet. We're gonna get you on his shoulders. Put your feet underneath you. Your knee underneath you. Bring this knee back. Okay. Stand up. One, two, three. Okay. Watch your step when you go up. David, go sit down for me, right? Do you think you're helping? He's y'all not telling him to be quiet, right. either, sir. I told him to get in his vehicle. Face, you guys need to stop yelling face. at him. He's mad. He Are you his sister? Are you no, his sister? I'm not her sister. Did you see any of this happen? You're not Did me. I see any of what happened? No. Did did you? Did you? Hey, David, I'm not here for muscle. David, have a seat. I'm going to go there. Okay. David, have a seat in the car, man. I'm trying to get you out of here. Don't let him get to you, okay? She's trying to push your buttons. I just should have got my phone, man. It's under, it's under this shit over here. Oh, for real? There should be a phone there. I believe so. A real one? There you go, see? Oh, that's an iPad. Oh, okay. Shit. It's probably on the seat. I don't know anything about her phone. Like, well, she probably got my okay, phone. Okay, look for it and go back in. Okay. I don't believe she's got anything. Okay. Oh, he hit me! He hit me! Oh, he hit me! Oh, Yelling at each other. Okay, let's go down here. Go down on the belt. Okay, we're just gonna put the seatbelt on in case we go somewhere. Wait, I don't need to be arrested or detained? Well, we're gonna wait till the... The other officer talks to us and figure out what we got, okay? We got the windows down so you'll be have some air coming through, okay? We just gotta sort this out, okay? We can't have people coming up with sticks threatening to beat people while we're here. Well, from my understanding, she was being attacked by her boyfriend. Yeah, I she, mean, her baby she, she, she was so talking with us. <laughs> In a bid to paint herself as the true victim of this chaotic mess, her friends decided to charge in with aggressive antics right in front of the police, because nothing says innocent like stirring up more trouble under the watchful eye of the law. You ain't here, okay, no mother Jasmine. right there. Jasmine. You ain't had a house since mother 2015. Oh, help, Jasmine. help. Hey. Why well, got cameras? Jasmine, go over there. Jasmine, keep walking, come on. This ain't help us. This is more real. Yeah. But why y'all not on him though? He right. he's the aggressor. He came to my crib. You can't go anywhere else. He's right next to his car. You can back up. This ass walked up to my crib, bro. She's going for obstructing. Where's y'all taking my sister and food? She's gonna go down to the police station across the way. Obstructing. What did she do? Because she came here with a big and then tried to walk past me. It wouldn't stop when I told her to. I'm carrying a pole, trying to hit him. So, okay, what y'all gonna do about him? Right now, he's going over home. He, so he gets to go home, well, and he... Yeah, sort this out yet, but it doesn't help if more people tell me start yelling. And okay, but we right here talking. He down there. But y'all uh, not getting the point that he dropped our kids off at school at 8. Why is he still here stalking, he harassing? Said you guys have been talking all morning. He a f***ing lie. He said you've been texting back and forth, right? I just showed you the text message from I didn't yesterday. I did see any text messages. This was from yesterday, okay. Sunday. Can I look at it, though? Because I can't see it. Oh, the glare, the way you carry it, and your finger is covered half the... Now you see him, right? I see you guys were communicating back and forth. But did you see me being aggressive in any? I was trying to download the situation, right? No, but I'm going to make something up to put a key... No! What you mean? You see that, where he said what he was going to do, and I said, I'm just going to get an o OP. So how did that don't look good? With and he said, he shit. And you also said... Because he's threatening. Because he's threatening me. Okay, it says he was... You have any issues with your boyfriend? He, 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 him and my boyfriend never spoke two words. I know, but that's who he's after. For what? Because it's natural that they probably don't like each other, right? He, my boyfriend never seen right, it. Right, but do boyfriends and new boy, ex-boyfriends and new boyfriends generally like each other? It does not matter. Can, and he took me in that car on the high speed. You got in that car. Period. Because he needs to go to jail. And he said y'all gonna have to come catch him. They can leave. I'm gonna get his gun back to him and write him a mail in for cannabis and then get him out of here. Um, I will take it out to the, about me to there. Thank you. Yeah. Alright.
Jasmine, do you need a medic or no? Huh? Do you need a medic? I can take myself to the hospital. Okay. I need to go with my. I need to take. I need no, to right now she's going to the, going to the police here. department across from McDonald's. How much is her bond? The bond is a hundred bucks. If she can, I might add one, depending on her. They're good to go. They need to get out of here. Hey, David. David. Hey, let me explain what's going on to you. Okay. She's alleging, obviously, a battery. She says she pushed her. She pushed you. She's being kind of yeah, not descriptive support. on how she got in the car. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? I'm, not, I'm not looking to put a charge on you for any type of domestic. Okay. But there's no reason for you to go there. Okay. Mm -hmm. You dropped the kids off at school. I don't want to see you go to her house again, mm -hmm. right? So. Her sister's getting arrested, obviously, for the stick over here. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen is I'm just going to write you a ticket. A mail-in ticket is what it's called for your weed. You just can't have it like that, understand? Okay. In the meantime, you guys need to stay away from each other. you got kids, so communicate, but keep it, keep it as peaceful as you can. We don't communicate. Well, I understand look, look. she was out of town, so yes. you had the kids, yes. right? That's and all she do is that, bro. I don't give a f*** Do me a favor. Can you sit in the driver's seat, and I'll be with you in less than five all minutes, right. okay? All right. And then I'll get your ID back here, your pistol, and I'll get you out of here. All right. The woman who decided to take matters into her own hands and confront the man with a stick ended up facing obstruction charges, while, surprisingly, the man and woman at the center of the altercation walked away without any charges. What do you think? Did the right call get made here? Baby, bail me out! We know, we're bailing out. We'll see you guys soon on Daytona, baby! <laughs> on April 7, 2024, at New Smyrna Beach, the police came across a group of young folks suspected of public drinking. Now, there's a zero-tolerance policy on that beach. It's not the cops making the rules, but they sure have to enforce them. Normally, if you're caught, all the police do is ask for your name and write you a ticket. Easy peasy. But, in this case, these fine young individuals decided to take a more dramatic route. How old are you? Huh? I don't know what you what? You don't want to tell me your name, date of birth, and your age? You know what's, you know what's coming huh? next, right? Oh my god. Stand up. Stand up. Turn around. Stand up. 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 Stand it doesn't matter. How old are you? It doesn't matter. Well, you appear intoxicated to me. Come over here. Initially, her refusal to identify herself seems like a minor infraction, but things take a turn for the worse when she becomes openly hostile, disregarding the officer's orders. Come over here. I'll f***ing walk you a straight line, brother. Sit down. It doesn't f***ing matter. Get the f*** off. Okay. Come sit down. Get off me. Come back over here and Am sit I down. Sit down. Stay Can there. You Yes, you are. Calm down. Me. Read it to me. Well, now you're Tell me. resisting. Resisting what? Are you in a drink? Is that what you said? No, sir. But why are you acting that way if you're not intoxicated? Because I don't know what I'm behind cuffs for. If I'm well, not you didn't. acting that way. Then you resisted her arrest. Sir, can I ask you? Yes. Yeah, I told you to stay back if you were conducting an investigation. You didn't. And I stayed back. I stayed back you right didn't. with him. And then when he asked you a question, you tried to run away from him. Okay, sir. I tried to run away. It's all, it's all in this right here called the body camera. Okay, sir. Okay. So, how did you get here today? I Ubered here from the lift. So, where did you Uber from, Michaela? I Ubered from from. Do you live here or are you just staying here? I'm just staying here. At a rental? Staying with some friends? Yeah. Okay, what's the address? It's his parents' house. It's no surprise she was quickly taken into custody by the police. In Florida, resisting an officer without violence can carry serious penalties, including a misdemeanor charge, and can be punishable by up to one year in jail. If Michaela had simply complied with the officer's orders, this situation could have ended much differently. The same for you then? Okay, you don't have it on you though? Do you guys have any credit card or anything like that with your name on it? I have an idea. Oh. Here with you now. So how are you buying stuff on the beach? You don't have a credit card, debit Wait, card? We Wait, let me interrupt her. As you guys try to be more and more vague and quiet, you are required I'm to identify yourself, but you've quiet. given me... Listen, let me finish talking. All right? If we cannot ID you, then we have to take you. You have no choice but I to go fully into custody. We're trying to work through that. That's why she's asking, do you have an ID I might, you? I can Now check. you might magically have it on you. No, I'm telling you, I can check. Okay. Because I don't remember if I had on me genuinely on my mom's life. I can check. Is that what you want? 
It, it might be what you want. I do not have it on me. But oh no, I know you don't. Just sit down. You're fine. Otherwise, you weren't doing anything wrong. Okay. Out of all these people, Well, your friends were openly drinking on the beach on 4th of July when we have zero tolerance. Yeah, let me know. No. They're just good at hiding it. Absolutely. So we should just be good at hiding it? Well, you can't do that, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. just be good at hiding it? Right, but that I can definitely see. You think this is like my first time dealing with people drinking underage? Very first time that we've got fake names and IDs? Add alcohol into the mix, and things go from bad to worse. On a day like July 4th, which is notoriously high profile for public intoxication, officers have a zero tolerance policy for public drinking. Michaela's claim that she wasn't intoxicated directly contradicts the clear signs of impairment the officers observed. You were already bored. I know. They're bored, brother. It's okay. So wipes are out cheating on them. Wow, there you go again. Being belligerent. Feel good about that? Thank you, man. You feel good about that? You, I promise you, you can't make me mad. Life might be out. Does that make you feel better? No, it doesn't. Being belligerent when you're intoxicated? I think that's sad if you're like I think it's sad that you feel like you have to talk that way to people. Have we put you down? Yes. Have we disrespected you? Yes. Because I don't know these people next to us. sitting here swimming and you feel the need to pull up us driving home off this beach. We're not the only are we driving home? No, we're Well, that's good. We got half of it. Driving home. We will. Good for you. But we're also going to deal with you. It doesn't affect me. I'm not mad at you. This is not personal to me. There you go again. Okay. Well, let's try to run that route. I'm not your brother. You don't know my wife. Yeah, your wife probably cheats on you. You want to be honest. Like, you just want to make you stay home. Like, you don't want to be with me. There you go. You're trying. You're trying hard. That's it. I don't mean to be rude to you, but does it make you sad? Actually, you you're trying to be rude, but yet you're sitting there in handcuffs. You gotta talk, that's yeah, fine. My mom's gonna get me out of this, so what? Mm. Ooh, I don't know how to the police What's that again? What's that? I'm sorry. I can't understand you, you're slurring. Does that affect me that you can go around the beach and my mom's gonna get me out of No, it doesn't affect me. It's not gonna get you out of handcuffs right now. That's true, we definitely do not work on commission. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a good time today, like truly. We are. I don't mean to be a dick, right? <laughs> what can I say? Like, you guys are out here doing your job, and I'm out here being a woman. I'm just trying to out here enjoy my fucking beach time, and then hear these dick heads pull up. Not helping. What are you going to do? Let's be fucking flirting up speech? It's pretty clear that there's a sense of entitlement and rudeness at play here. These kids weren't just breaking one law, but two. Underage drinking and refusing to show their ID to the police. And what does she do? She dismisses the law entirely, smugly declaring that her parents would bail her out without a hitch. Too bad her shallow understanding and overconfidence blinded her to the reality of the situation. The truth, however, had a way of showing up ready to shatter that fantasy. Money, you might encourage her to give the right information. So. I can try her someday. Of course, you lie. You guys have other places to meet. You guys want to meet We can walk people up there. We got enough people. Yeah, we can walk them up. This. That's fake information, too. So. Yeah, yeah. Take them off. Yeah, you, no, you don't come back. You come back as no record found. M A K A Y L A. Michaela. Because I don't know if they can hear me properly. Okay, You're try saying, it again. Still because taking underage. <laughs> That's a lot better thing for you guys to do, but I I'm not anybody, yeah. bro. I'm just doing their job. I don't, I don't get like a bonus for the rest. No. No, they walked in. So where's the super room she's talking about? At the house. It's at the house? At the house. We have other people making Michaela, we walked on here. They Ubered here. Whatever, they put them She's saying her shoes is in the super room. No, you guys got better shoes. No, no, I'm, I'm good. Have a seat. Can I stand right here? Have a seat, please. Thank you. Right now, it's Michaela, stop. Just cooperate. You're making it worse for yourself. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Yeah. We're gonna walk up the stairs up here, okay? Okay. Am I going by myself? Right now, yes. Watch your step. Hold on. Slow down. Slow down. Do you have any property that you want me to grab? No, ma'am. No? Okay. Watch your step. Watch your step. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, girl, but I didn't 
Let's go. Come on. Come on. Watch your step. <laughs> Imagine some resting some people that are about to just get right out. Like, what's the point? I don't mean to be rude to you. Let us see, Corey. <laughs> Can you turn and face that way? I'm gonna take those off and put them in the front. I got it. You're good. Hey, Paul! Paul! How are you? How are you? Can I help you? What's the waterproof case? Whatever was with her is gonna be put at our police department. So. All right. Yeah. That, where's yeah. my stuff? Whatever was in there, but I have no idea. We got all our stuff back. Okay. We have his phone, his wallet, his keys. Yes. It's kind of important. It's very key. important. Okay. I don't, I don't know that. Okay. I'm only dealing with them. Whatever was in their possession was going to the police department. So give me two seconds because I'm figuring out something else. Okay. Just when it looked like the situation was about to wrap up and the young suspects were headed to jail, the brightest spark in the group decided to demonstrate her complete ignorance. I can't help but shake my head. Looks like alcohol isn't for everyone. Perhaps she should think twice before taking another sip in the future. <sighs> Listen, if you keep banging on the car, your handcuffs are gonna go back behind your back. Okay, then I'm gonna go to the same place I was okay, before. Okay, yeah, you will. <laughs> baby, bail me out! We'll see you guys soon on Daytona, baby! <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot you. I love you guys! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you guys! After all the drama, Michaela was arrested. She was charged with resisting an officer without violence and disorderly intoxication, with a $750 cash bond set for her release. Oh, but don't worry, she had big plans to call her parents and get bailed out. Because what could go wrong when you're facing two criminal charges and you still think you're the one in control? Michaela's journey from I'm not drunk to I'm in jail is a perfect example of how a little bit of resistance, a touch of alcohol, and a dash of poor judgment can lead to a criminal record and a hefty bill. Do you think Michaela's defiant attitude was worth it? Or was it just a case of someone who had too much pride and not enough sense? Drop your thoughts below. We love hearing your opinions. From a teen mom getting schooled by the police to a drunk driver who doesn't even realize she's wrecked her car. This next story takes bad decisions to a whole new level. At this time, I'll please oh, oh. arrest, okay? okay? I'm driving under the influence. Have you ever wondered what happens when someone is so drunk they don't even realize they've just caused a serious accident? In this video, we'll witness a dramatic story where confusion and lack of awareness lead to unexpected consequences on the streets. Okay. At this time, I'll oh, please oh. arrest, okay? okay? I'm driving under the influence. The serious collision involving two vehicles occurred on October 6th, 2023, causing one of the cars to veer off course. A group of police officers was dispatched to the scene to stabilize the situation and begin an investigation immediately after. The situation became even more complicated when witnesses reported a heated argument between the two drivers following the accident. The woman in one of the vehicles, accompanied by her husband and their dog, claimed that the other car had rear-ended them and that the driver had been aggressive after the crash. The tense situation and the aggressive behavior after the accident created a dramatic atmosphere that captured attention from the very beginning. 47, both of are on scene. All right, hi. Everyone in both cars okay? The Who's in this hit, car? The one that hit us. Are you okay? Yeah, okay, any significant injuries? Everybody out of the car? In that car? Yeah. Okay. Me, my husband, and our dogs. Husband We're in dogs. that car. Okay, okay. Uh, who was driving? My husband. They ran over the okay. house my Santa over here. That's a house? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have you go stand over there. Okay. So you and your husband dogs were driving, or mm -hmm. in the car. You were driving, or your husband? My husband, yeah. Okay, and then you're complaining of wrist. Yeah, my wrist was hurt. Okay, uh, do me a favor, honey, and just tell me what happened. Um, so we're on our way to go to the vet. We're literally dry, just jeep behind us, going like 15 miles an hour on the back, and I'm like, oh my god, hun, hun, pull over. Into us, and we just go move out of control, and trying not to and we ended up over there. So she ran right into you from behind. Yeah, and okay. then she came out all belligerent, just like, what the, what the hell is going on with this lady? You literally just almost 
with us. Like, okay. are you crazy? Okay, so yeah. Uh, okay, that's okay. The Sacagawea Animal Vet okay. for uh, his little appointment. And okay. we were driving right here. You know what happened? She must have rear ended me or something because I just felt the car get hit and I just kind of tried to swerve off to the side of the road. Why are they acting crazy? I don't know. I think we have only two toes, please. Crazy, but she said they were just driving and she just came home, but up there. As police began gathering statements, the driver responsible for the accident gave unclear explanations, admitting that she had attempted to change lanes but couldn't recall exactly what had happened. This was a significant sign of impaired driving. She also admitted to smoking marijuana nine hours prior, but denied any alcohol use. Additionally, her difficulty in locating her driver's license and insurance raised further suspicions about her condition at the time of the accident. Could her impaired state have contributed to the crash? Let's follow the officers as they investigate to uncover the truth. We can get your license, registration, and proof of insurance. So yeah. go ahead and tell me, are you the only yeah. occupant of this car? Yeah, I'm the only owner of this vehicle. Can you tell me what happened? Um, I was driving down and I was trying to get into a lane and they were getting into a lane, the left lane. Okay. And they were getting into the right lane. Okay. And so I guess we hit. Okay. I'm in club. Okay. When I get off the vehicle, they said, no, you crashed into me and da 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 And I was like, wait, who is? I'm the owner of the vehicle. Okay, but I don't know if you know. I, I will be honest. I was I was going a little about maybe like five, six miles over. Okay. Okay. And um, for that. Okay. Um, I was just dropping my friend off in now four seats to coma. Okay. I was coming back down here. Okay. Had anything to drink today? Um, no. I did smoke probably like well, I'd say like nine. And drink? No. No. Okay. Uh. Do you mind if I go in there and turn off your car? It's you, I would. That one is hers. Is her car? Can I go in there yeah, and yeah. Car? Okay. Nothing to drink. You said you smoked about nine hours ago. In, your... in the car, if you want to grab it. Okay. Can you come? I don't know where it's at. I don't know where. You say, grab me. These two. I don't know if she's been checked out. Can you... I don't need. Where was your license at? It was in my Prius. Your what? In my PS. Oh, your your purse. Yeah. In the car. Okay. Okay. I don't. Really okay. Worry. Let me just uh, let me get your name verbally, okay? License. Yeah. You do. Okay. How about insurance? Uh, I do not have insurance. No. Oh. And then hit them the last time. You hit them before? Or <laughs> I guess. Shit, I don't even remember. Not, well, let me not say it like that, but... Have you, you were saying that you've hit these same people before? Or you've been I mean, in another accident I, I, before? Yeah. Afer, okay, what's your first name, hon? Anjali. Can you spell that for me? A-U-N. G-E. Yuki. L-I-U. Yuki? Is that C? L. Yeah. So, hold on. A-U-N-G-E-L. G-U-N. A-U-N. G-U-N. G-E. G-E. E. Okay. Yes. A U N G U N G E L I Q U E on Ju. Can you spell? Can you just write it for me? Do you mind? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Much easier. And you can write your middle initial and date of birth too. But the. Okay. A U N G. A U N G. You have such pretty handwriting. G E L I. No, it's Q U E. A U E. Q U E L I. Okay. And then L I Q U E. And then date of birth. Okay, and just real quick, is your hand in your pocket so okay if I pat you down? Do you have any weapons on you or anything, hon? No, not sir. So. What? Just uh, pocket watches. Pocket watches, okay. Yeah. Anybody here witness it that I should talk to you? Think? To the lady in the blue, okay. and the lady in the green, okay. and, the la and the sir in the white, and the sir in the, in the pink, okay. so that they can give you full statements. Okay. I'm going to get my car to my house. You're going to what? Okay, I'm going to get my... They can't get it to your house, right? Um, It's going to... I could drive it there. Baby, you can't drive that car. It is yeah, I drive it worse. Uh, do you live close? Very. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so at this time you are not free to leave, okay? Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Stand by. Hey, uh, hey, let's not be. Come on. That's not going to help. Hey, come on now. Okay, give me a favor. Did Bruno is an investigation for something else. Did you verify that she was the one driving that car? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, she's going to be DUI, so we're going to smell them with a minute. Okay. 
Next, the police requested that the woman perform field sobriety tests at the scene. During the tests, she struggled to maintain her balance and follow instructions, further raising suspicions that she might be under the influence of some substance. Although she claimed that she had short-term memory issues due to an accident two years ago, she did not mention any medical conditions that could have affected her ability to perform the tests, making the results even more concerning. Hey, I gotta ask, are you willing to do some voluntary th Wait, will I submit to doing a field sobriety? Yeah. Yeah, I don't... You'll I'm just, not... You'll I'm, do let's do that. Let's do that. Let's take some good stuff. Do I that time off of you? Uh, I don't want to... I, I really will. I'm, oh, that's fine. Okay, I want you to... You're going to find it less of a hill. Can you stand, uh, right here for me? Right here. I'm trying to find not such of a hill to do these on. Real quick, uh, so do we gather turn towards me? And while I'm asking some questions, I just want you to keep your hands at your side, okay? Perfect. Um, just all about, um... Do you have any, your hands at your pockets? Yeah, there you go. I have short-term memory loss. Okay. From a crash. Okay, and what about any... Uh, anything that prevents you from walking normal, or your balance, or you wear contacts or anything? Medication, but I took all my medication. Okay, do you normally take um, any, or do you normally wear contacts or eye? Peroxidon, no. Eye contacts? Okay, no. so you're, you're good with your vision? This is okay. how it is normal. Okay, okay, perfect. Let's get this. Okay. So first I'm going to check your eyes, okay? So you don't have any glasses, you don't keep contact lenses in. Put a roll, and I'm going to have you look at this. And all I'm doing is going to move it back and forth, so follow it with just your eyes only, okay? Okay. Wait, wait, where do I, you, you, you ready to keep your eyes in? Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, your sign. There you go. 43, we are starting SFSTs. It's going to be called the walk and turn, okay? I've seen that. Hello. You've seen it? Yeah. Okay, you know how to do it then? Yeah. Okay, no, totally, totally fine. So, what I want you to do while I give you instructions, okay? I want you to stand. One planted, the other behind, okay? My shoes look fucking fucked up. You want to take them off? That makes you feel more comfortable? Just like this while I give the instructions, you see? One yeah. toe needs to be touching the other. Oh. There you go. Just like, uh, no, they have to be directly. Yeah. There you go, just like that, okay? Yeah. I need you to keep your hands <laughs> on your side, okay? Well, I think. So, what I'm going to do when I demonstrate, I'm just going to do three steps. But when you go, I want you to count to nine. Okay? Yes. There you go. So, this is filtered. Just like that, okay? Let them dictate. Can I count when I demonstrate with you? No, you're, an, you're just going to watch me right now, okay? It, so that way you understand, and I'll make sure you have any. Once I'm done, then I want you to go, okay? So I'm demonstrate. I'll take a heel to toe steps. One, two, a series of small steps this way, okay? And then you go back. Three. One, two, three. We can try the, um, the sidewalk. Are you comfortable? Are you sure? Yeah. I even. I, I want you to do. A, I'm gonna give you a fighting chance, right? I want you to do it on the yeah, We're gonna move to this. Okay. There we go. Much better. Two, three, four, five, six, nine. When asked to perform the one-leg stand and count test, the woman continued to struggle with maintaining her balance, clearly showing signs of impaired coordination and awareness. Although the test is relatively simple, her instability and difficulty in keeping her balance further highlighted the extent of her impairment. This aligns perfectly with the signs of driving under the influence. So from, together, I'll let you know when so go, for okay? 10 or 6. Uh, you're going to keep counting just like that, 1,001. And, not yet. Not yet. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 12, 1,013, 1014, 1015, 1015, 1016, 1018, 1019, 1020, 1021, 1025. In the end, after failing
The woman was arrested by the police and read her Miranda rights as required by law. Although this situation was difficult, her request to hand her phone to her mother before being taken away shows she still had concern and a sense of responsibility toward her family. Her arrest was not only due to her actions at the scene, but also the results of the test that confirmed impairment caused by a substance. At this time, I'll please take your arrest, okay? okay? I'm driving under the influence. I mean, when will I shall get released? Uh, we'll do you want to make sure that you are comfortable enough. Okay, hold on. Give me one second. I am going to read you some. Okay. Uh, I want you to... Hey, hey, I'm, 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 I, this I'm, is important. I, this is for no, you. I'm, Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right this time to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, if you wish, and you can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or making the statements, okay? Okay. Thank you. Straight to the hospital, then? Yeah. And no. Okay. Your truck? Your truck? What's up? Did you guys check her out? Not at all. With that? Check her out. She didn't want any help. Nothing on home. Can you guys please do? Here, I'm actually going to put you over here because it's safer, okay? Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm also going to search it. Not yet. Okay. Everything in the car goes. Can you face the flag room? No, 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 other way. There you go. By that side, she's just going to go with you to jail. Wait, what? Yep. Wait. She's going with you to go to jail. And then when do I get it? When I get out or what? We'll get to that in a second, all right? Let's just have... All right, you guys. Put this on your finger, okay? Which one? Go with pinky. My... Huh? Are you hurting anywhere? Are you in any pain? I'm scared to say I'm hurting anywhere. Never uh, Huh? I said don't have me nowhere, because I'm a near. I'm near. You're a minor? I'm near a minor. How old are you? I'm 20. Try to leave. Um, perfect. Fine. I'm fine. One percent. I promise you, I'm going just off the alcohol. We're gonna do one more test, but no, I'm I'm saying he said I was off the test. Oh, I don't know what that means. What are you? Since I got hired, bitch, I knew damn well. Mm. All your vital signs. Yeah, I I already know. Cause I know I'm not. It hurts. I know damn well. Good. So I'm getting bugged. He's gonna hang here and then I'm gonna come back with you, okay? Where it's are we going? To the station. And then what? Uh and then ride breath samples. Or, it? uh, it's called the BAC. It's a, it's like a, it's a breath. Every step of the way will be explained. From now on, we're going right back to the station, and I can explain to you kind of what happens next. And then what? If ever, what you're talking about? You're under, you're under arrest. So you're going to jail. So after I do that, I'm going to jail. Regardless, I'm going to jail. Yes. The woman was then transported to the police station for further investigation and to undergo additional tests necessary for the ongoing investigation. Um, what do you think the time the collision occurred at? It was, it was earlier. It was, I want to say about... Six probably, or seven? Probably, if, it, if not earlier than later. If not a little bit, like it was setting... Six or seven p.m.? Yeah. Okay. Uh, where were you going before being stopped? I was heading to my drop off. So yeah. without looking, what time do you think it is right now? I want to say maybe a little bit before... Uh, and do you know what direction of travel you were going? Uh, what's this way? <laughs> Northeast? Did Dakota, like... Okay, no. Which... No, I really don't. Okay, that's okay. I don't... What... Driving? Um, maybe... 4.15? Uh, okay. Around the evening time. Okay. Uh, and what's the date? Okay. Or, yeah, sorry. I don't keep track of dates. Okay. A lot. Anymore. Do you know what month it is? Okay, so you just want to put like October before the 21st? No, the 21st. Okay, okay so, so that was. That's what you're saying. So sometime so before. So I remember the that. 21st. Okay. So specific. Some, I remember the 17th. Okay. Because for my phone bill. Okay. So 
probably because today is about the 21st, 22nd. Okay. I think. I don't keep up with the days anymore. And then... How long beverages today? Um, I drank one shot today. Okay. And then I have not drank one since. Which is every time I drink, I end up here. So you said just one shot? Okay. Yeah. And then a tequila? Tequila? Okay. Uh, about what time did you start drinking? I took one shot at like 7 o'clock. Okay. Yes. And then, who have you been drinking with? Myself. Just you? Yeah, I took okay. one shot the rest of my week okay. at my friend's house. Okay. And then I was trying to drive home because I was very upset. Yeah. Or do you believe your ability to drive was affected by your alcohol or drug usage? And then, have you ever been arrested for a DUI before? No. She took a breathalyzer test, which returned a result of 0.195 BAC nearly 10 times the legal limit of 0.02 for drivers under 20 in Washington state. After completing the test, she was taken to the hospital for a medical evaluation, where doctors determined she had a fractured wrist. Once her treatment was completed, the suspect was quickly transported to jail. She was charged with driving under the influence and cited for causing a traffic accident. Driving under the influence of marijuana and causing a rollover accident is an extremely dangerous act, putting many lives at risk. Notably, even though it had been nine hours since she used marijuana, its effects were still present, leading to the impairment of essential functions needed for safe driving. Therefore, when deciding to get behind the wheel, it's crucial to avoid consuming any substances to prevent unnecessary consequences. What are your thoughts on the responsibility of drivers when they use substances and cause accidents? Should marijuana or other substance use be considered a mitigating factor in this case? Share your opinions in the comments below and join the discussion. So can you tell me how, were you going to take a turn here? Just kind of lost track of the road? I don't know how that happened. Each year, there are staggering statistics about drunk driving accidents, and the next situation is part of that vast number. Are you ready to dive into this story? Let's get started. On June 20th, 2022, a serious accident occurred when a 44-year-old woman caused significant damage to her car and was unable to recall how the accident happened. From the initial images, it is evident that the front of the car was severely damaged, and although the woman was not seriously injured, she appeared physically unstable. When the officer arrived at the scene, another officer provided a clear account of the situation, including the health assessment of the woman and other crucial information useful for the investigation. A 44-year-old female, uh, she pulled in to want to stop. She's got some front end damage, I don't know if she hit the, the pole or the curb. Uh, she answered all her alert and oriented games, a little slurred speech and all that. We checked her blood sugar, it was normal. All vitals are stable. Um, she doesn't want to go to the hospital. Car, um, vehicle, she's sitting the way we found her. Okay, so she said she was parked here. She said, did she give you a reason? No, no, I mean, she obviously got in an accident, but that's what she said, she parked here in the house. Okay, here's her license. So she was on her way to her friend's house? They said her vitals are good, everything's fine. Got in an accident and parked here. Yeah. That's why she timid. she hit the pole or the curb right here, but she stayed and she parked here because she wanted to take a break from uh, driving. So she called vitals right here. She seems like she doesn't touch the data or something It seems like she could be. I, I don't have it. Are you okay? The officer then approached the woman for further questioning. As soon as she stepped out of the car, the woman began discussing her health issues, stating that she had neurological problems and several other illnesses. Still, she refused medical assistance from the paramedics. During the conversation with the police, the woman explained that the accident occurred when she tried to avoid another vehicle and ended up crashing. She also claimed that the GPS had given incorrect directions, which led to the accident. However, given the severe damage to the car and the suspect's unusual behavior, the situation might not be as straightforward as it seemed. After noting the car's significant damage, the officer recommended having the vehicle towed. From this dialogue, you can see the professionalism and adaptability of the officers in handling the situation. Are you impressed with their approach? Feel free to share your thoughts with us. Are you doing all right, man? Yeah. Uh, what do you want? Wanna come over here with me? The side of the road? You know, I have um, peripheral have? neuropathy. Uh huh. So I'm unstable. Okay. So do you have any itches with your leg or something like that? Mm -hmm. That's what you said? Yeah. And your lower back too? Or it's only your legs? All the way down. You have a medical like paper or document that. At my house. I have a 
don't carry it around in the car. <laughs> but come over here, come over here. Ma'am. Ma'am. Where are you coming from right now? Bel Air. Oh there. So you were having lunch? You were going to Sarasota. So how this happened is my biggest concern. How, how did it happen? I just feared up. The you drove happened. off the road and you didn't see that right there? You were trying yeah, to turn I was, or something? Um, I was, I don't know what it did, but, yeah. okay. So I swerved and that's what happened. You came right there to rest right there. What happened with the other vehicle? Why you have to move out of the road? No, he went right on. Uh, so you were trying to board another vehicle and come over here? The whole turn? Well, I just turned the whole car to avoid hitting. Okay. That's alright. Uh, okay. Yeah, we, we're gonna have to tow the vehicle. We're gonna have to tow the vehicle. That vehicle's no problem right now. So, so just stay with her over here real quick. Yeah. Hi, what's your name? Hi, how are you? You wanna have a seat for me? Ma'am, wanna have a seat for me? My car? Yeah, your car's open. You wanna sit down for me? Like to make sure that my car is no, I, the airbag had to go off. It was off to get hurt. I really don't want to sit on there. How about that curve? That's a pretty clean curve. Right, you know, well, all right, come on, let's walk up there. Careful now. You're a little unsteady on the feet. Oh, almost missed it. There we go. So can you tell me how, were you going to take a turn here? Just, yeah, I don't know how that happened. I was just trying to Yes, I veer to the right. Yeah. Are you traveling in this lane right here, closest to the thing? The map is telling me to turn right. So I'm just trying to turn right. You a Tron Street? It didn't, it didn't work out well. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, your car's a little messed up now. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're fine if you just want to hang out right here, okay? Your car's not going to be able to drive, all right? You okay? What's going on? Okay. But, uh, it's on 12th Street. So, I don't, I don't know what the charges are. I mean, I'm sure they have a storage fee and, and a tow fee. Okay? Oh my God, I got that. You'll be alright. Where do you live again? Okay. I really don't. The GPS told me to turn right. Hold us in the way. Yeah. It's a big curve. Right. All right, though. No, you just stop. <laughs> Pretty much just stop. <laughs> yeah. Well, the good thing is you're not hurt, so. No, not at all. I was going like 20 miles an hour. Work a lot of accidents. Turn right if there was a giant brick. What are you going to do? Okay. Yeah. Well, how did you miss your turn? You turned right on this road. And then you took uh -huh. a hard right. And apparently During the interrogation, the woman repeatedly displayed signs of unusual behavior, such as insisting on going back to her accident-damaged vehicle to avoid the heat. The officer offered her several options. She could either sit in the police car or stand by the roadside because the airbags in her car had deployed, making the vehicle no longer safe to use. Despite this, she stubbornly insisted on her choice. Did her obstinacy make the situation more tense? Can you take me to my original destination? Yeah, right now, like I said, we're just going to work on the crash investigation. Get that going for you from there. Do I have to just sit here until then? Well, absolutely. Uh -huh. Keep in my car and have air conditioning? Uh, I would not run that car whatsoever. You look like your entire car, and additionally, your airbag hasn't gone off. And considering normally no, when you or bumper, so I would not want you to be in the car in case for some reason the airbag goes off and you're not ready for it. Just don't want a chance, it, man. Okay, well, I need some air conditioning. 
Now look, if you do get too high, I can put you in the back of a, it's plastic seating. Uh, you know, that's gonna be your choice if you, if you get too hot. I just don't want heat stroke or something like that. Nor do I want you to have I'm used to it, it's okay. <laughs> Again, you're I really, <laughs> well, feel free to sit in the grass or change yeah. locations. If you want to stand, as long as if you're, you, oh, again, I don't want you in the car because, Why? well, because your airbag hasn't gone off the car. I won't get hurt. Right, well, I, I know you won't get hurt by sitting right here. Seat? No, ma'am. No, I just want to sit in a comfortable seat. Oh, a comfortable seat. I, you know, I can appreciate that. They can get out of the sun. No, this is not good. What's not good? It's hard. Yes, it is. Now, do you have it for you? Can I just sit in my car? In the what? I'll leave the door open. I'm not worried about the door. Does that have curtain airbags? Those would are, those are break your neck if they go off. I'll just leave the door open. If it's out. No, I'm not, I do not want to see you get hurt. I can't let you in the car. Like I told you, I'll sit in the black back of the police okay. car for air, air conditioning. Okay. All right, stand up. Let's walk to my police car. I can understand that it is not warm. Or excuse me. It's not cool. <laughs> can you walk okay? Yes. All right, here, yeah. hold my I, hand. No, I just have never off a boot. What's that? Um, where you can't feel your feet. Do you do okay driving and stuff though? Yeah. After the investigation, the police returned and issued a citation to Jennifer, concluding the initial accident investigation. However, the case was far from over. Based on Jennifer's behavior and statements, the officers formed a new DUI investigation team. They read her Miranda rights and began their DUI investigation. However, the process faced some difficulties due to the ambiguity in Jennifer's statements. Look at this. Are you sleeping? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, I don't want you to fall. There you go, Officer Tree's gonna walk with you. Write you a ticket for careless driving because yeah. you failed to maintain the roadway. Yeah. Okay. No. okay. Got it. Officer Rodriguez wants to ask you some questions. Is that okay? Uh, Officer Trina already finished the crash, inve crash investigation. It's already over. Now I'm switching hats and I'm going to start the DUI investigation. Yeah. Okay, so let me read you Miranda Rice real quick to you, and I need you to acknowledge and tell me if you understand. I understand. <laughs> Having these rights in mind, do you still want to talk to me? Charged with something? Uh, at this point, we're going to do an investigation. It's only that we're doing. So, and rights are present, and you can exercise your rights at any point. All right? So. Sure. Okay. So. Let me ask you again, wh where are you coming from? Bel Air. Bel Air, all right. Is that the one in Maria Jack? Is that, what is that, a restaurant? What is, is your residence? Is where you live at? Okay. So you wanna tell me again how that crash happened? On that road, and I took a hard left, and... And you missed the curve? Yeah, I hit the curve. Now tell me, do you have anything to drink today? Not today. No today? No event? I do have peripheral neuropathy, so I have like, a, which you can talk to my neuropathist about that. So, uh, you, I can see that you eyes too. Doesn't everybody have issues with their eyes in the morning? Uh, clock. Yeah, well. What time you wake up today? Uh, noon. I also sense and a smell of alcoholic beverage Do you. I haven't drank today. Okay, that's fine. So you'll be okay doing some uh, uh, field tests for me, right? Sure. Okay, so I can't, like, do the whole thing. So you've been through this before? Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. Have you been charged with DUI before? No. Oh, oh that is neuropathy training. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Putting one foot in front of the other. And I can't do it. That is the only one? one I can do. Can you stand in one leg then? Uh -huh. That one you can do? Okay. We're gonna we're gonna bypass that one and go to the. Wanna do for you? You said that's the only one you can do. I can't do. Take in front of the other. Are you saying, I'm sorry, can't? Cannot. Cannot. Okay. Cannot. All right. Okay. Without holding on. I heard that tell you. That, I do. Right? You you do. All right. Okay. Okay. It's fine. So the first thing that I want to do. Uh... Ultimately, after failing to provide necessary medical documents and failing the coordination tests. The woman was arrested. Despite being taken into custody, Jennifer steadfastly denied consuming alcohol, but in the end, 
she eventually admitted to drinking vodka the night before. But is that the whole truth? The blood alcohol test at the hospital will reveal the shocking truth about her alcohol level. All right, now uh, you said that you cannot do like uh, the walk and turn? Yeah. Thank you. All right, ma'am. We're going to cut this Yeah. Out. We're cutting this out. Uh, Sorry, but you had too much to drink today. You wanna tell me again? I didn't. You wanna be honest with me? And maybe I can do something for you? Please don't. I have a dog at home. I can't. Well. It's on the crash report. I will go home. I'm sorry, but I cannot let you drive or do anything. I'm sorry, man. It's, it's too late. Uh, you already crashed. You already, like, you look like much. I didn't have anything to drink today. And that no, smell. Not and, a one drop. Uh, what's going on with this? I'm trying. I'm trying to get a, an appointment that we can understand each other, but I cannot do that if you lie to me. Well, right now that won't be possible. Okay. When is that possible? After I do all. What is the next step? But right now, as right now, do you want to tell me again if you drink? I drank before I drove okay. last night. Yes. You see, we're getting there because it's obvious. To be honest. You're right. What kind of drink do you take? It was vodka. A vodka? Right. How long ago? But you said today before you drive. You were driving at no. 7 o'clock just last night? I didn't. Did you say that? No, I drank last night. Last night? Yeah. So you seem to take vodka last night? How much vodka you took last night? Can you please take it? Yeah, ma'am, I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's go. You can have some AC on it. Do you have anything that's going to put me five minutes to me? No. Anything you do bring in the concrete? It's just a ticket. Okay. So it's the Everything was off. I'm sorry. Well, I don't even know how to get in here. Yeah. I told them they're going to keep you here, but they said that you are too, too much alcohol. Ow. And I have to get home. I have a dog. You have a dog? Mm. What kind of dog is that? It's not nice. Yeah, she's the sweetheart. So I've got to get home. Alright, we're gonna do the, our best. I have to get home. Okay. So, fluids. Get home. Or whatever. We're gonna get you here in the hospital first. Yeah. Uh, I'm concerned so that you have too much. I have no idea. I really didn't have any drink today. This morning I had a, nothing else. So okay. I don't know. I I do know I have liver. So I don't process. Well, the thing is that it doesn't matter how bad is your liver. If you three, four, five, point three, four, five, yeah, that's, that's like real that. high. So you were Why drinking about the book, Alright, how the AC gonna run? Right. Um, yeah, we got all that stuff. I got everything over here, right? Watch out. She was charged with driving under the influence, DUI, for exceeding the legal limit. Her actions not only caused a serious accident, but also demonstrated a lack of responsibility in ensuring safe driving. Admitting to drinking alcohol the night before, while not a direct offense, could have impacted her ability to drive safely at the time of the accident. In the end, this encounter proves that no matter how entitled or defiant someone may feel, the law will always have the final say. When you challenge authority with ignorance, you're just setting yourself up for a hard lesson. It's a wake-up call for all of us. Respect, responsibility, and understanding the consequences of our actions are crucial. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share with others who could use a reminder about respecting the law. Catch you in the next one.